Well, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. I got my cows in the background. That's uh, that right there. That's Charity. And I got Dorcas and some others. But, folks, um, I'm actually uh, here to talk to you today about some real problems with our shipping. And I just want you, because you're my audience and I care about you, to be prepared. So I'm going to cover just cover <laughs> cover just a couple things out of this report, and then I'm going to link to an article below because uh, I'm just trying to get this taken care of while I'm watering the cows. Quick, the water's running out. Out of Zero Hedge, uh, the we are at an all-time high, a record on congestion in the ports. That means shipments are being delayed. In fact, uh, there was one story within the article about Dollar Tree CEO saying that they had had a shipment scheduled. Uh, that was that was set to dock in China, and then as a result, somebody had COVID. They had to send the ship ship back to I think it was Singapore, and by in total, it delayed the shipment two months, folks. And now all these ships are stacking up in queue. It's not only the COVID thing; it's also there's uh, there's people uh, just not enough workers. You know why would that be? We wonder. Okay, and and there's a host of issues. But the bottom line is, it's a real problem. And it's causing upward pressure on prices and also a shortage of supplies. So I know I've mentioned it before, but folks, you're going to want a little bit. I mean, I'm not talking even crazy, but at least have something on hand so that you're ready for things like that. And, and you have to know, excuse me, this bee's buzzing me, that, that with all that going on and that upward pressure on, on pricing, you're going to have to make cuts in other places potentially. Um, you know, what if that upward pressure is 10%? If it's on a grocery budget of say 800, that's another $80 a month. So these are all things to think of, or you're going to have to produce another $80 a month in income. Okay, but I will link, like I said, to the article below. But Goldman Sachs is saying this is a serious upward pressure on prices. I'm not sure which they'll love because uh, you know probably put upward pressure on stock prices. But you know the bottom line, folks, get ready get ready this stuff is not ending soon it goes from worse to bad or from bad to worse and then from worse to worser <laughs> okay yeah I know that's not proper English I mean I've written a couple books okay stop it liberals <laughs> okay you can go correct somebody else's grammar I love you folks peace out all right